Okay. I just received a copy of Black Maps 2.3. And let's go ahead and see what happens when I just try to load it. Okay, so we had in the document documentation originally uh, to run this as administrator. Uh, I had a lot of tech support that was uh, based off of this, people not following those instructions. So now Black Maps will not run without administrator. So how do I make it run as administrator? Easy. Go to the properties. It is under under Windows 10. We go to compatibility. Run this program as an administrator. Easy enough. Most of you already know this stuff. So now when I try to run it, the UAC pops up. I hit yes. And you'll, most of this you'll recognize. Uh, there's going to be some new stuff on the left side of the screen that I'm going to go over real quick. So this is your first glimpse into 2.3. Let this load, and of course we want to start using black maps. Okay, so over here we're, we're seeing choose rectangle file, add new rectangle, what is all this stuff? Okay. Uh, side note for Ben, I think we need a create rectangle file. But uh, I'll go into that in a second. So, default is what's always been there. It's basically the U.S. states. So if I load Texas, I've got all these Texas cities to choose from. Minnesota, you know, etc., etc. So I've created a few of these rectangle files. One for Canada. Uh, it only contains towns and above. Any village or uh, anything small, tiny, I don't have in there. So I'm going to choose Alberta. Let's look at Alberta. We've got all our cities here. Calgary, let's take a peek. Move over there. And you'll notice there's four of these. Well, why is that? So notice how when I click that second one, it didn't add a full-size box. Why is that? Let me just click all of them and you can see the entire boundary box is this big. However, when we do submit these search requests to Google Maps, Google Places, the API, etc., it doesn't like things to be over a certain size, a boundary box when I say things. And henceforth, I'm going to refer to a boundary box as rectangles in this video, just to simplify it a little bit. So, these are now broken up. And anytime you add a new one, it will be broken up as well. Let me show you an example of that. So, say I want to add my own rectangle box to this region in Alberta. So, first thing I'm going to do, draw a box. again so I'm gonna make this kind of big because I'm gonna show you one of the things black maps likes to do or will do now when you add the let's let's go for bigger here okay so I just want to I want now I want to add this because I can I want to be able to load it in the future and I'm gonna call it a so it shows up first new box okay now when I click add the software is gonna say hey this is too big uh, Google doesn't like this large of a boundary box it wants to break it down into smaller rectangles and we say sure so now we've got one and two. Let me turn that off. Okay, stop. Okay, so 
Now we have our new boxes here. So when we close the software and reopen it, these will still exist. So you can kind of create your own cities. They don't have to be big. They can be very small as well. If it's too big, we break them up. Over large population centers like this, um, you want to make lots of small boxes. Your, your searches will run faster. So, uh, other changes, uh, it is, we've had, we have a great speed increase. We were using an older SQL light driver, um, which was causing some jam ups between, uh, threads. Um, there were some buttons in some cases, uh, where did I? that we fixed as well uh, until so if you come across any new buttons that don't work let, let us know um, and we'll get those going just some oversights so that is an introduction to your new rectangles uh, administrative tool, I guess you could call it. And you have a little bit more control. Alright, I'm going to stop this and I'll see you in the next video.